Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I edit Adobe Photoshop files within Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. So first things first, we'll pull in a PSD file that's important for this, which is a Photoshop file. So we got a PSD right here, which is an old intro screen that I did for another video. Um, and merging the layers, that's fine. So press OK. And what I just did was basically here, I'll pull this up So, So what I did was just double clicked within this area and then selected my file that I wanted to import and then press import. You can also drag and drop it in, but the double click is just pretty quick um, way that I do it. So anyways, now go ahead and do a sequence. Um, Try to run through this, this custom, and then 19, 20, 10, 80. And I have a whole other video explaining sequence settings that um, will pop up to the top right of the screen right about now. Feel free to check that out if, um, if you need to or if you'd like to. All right, we'll press OK. And now this is where we get into it. So this is our PSD. I just dragged it and dropped it in the sequence. And this is a little intro type design that I do for each of these tutorials. So what I do is notice it's selected here and then just uh, press Command E. And then it pulls it up within Photoshop. And now what I'm going to do is just update this to go along with this tutorial and make it a little bit bigger. How to edit Photoshop files in Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. That sounds pretty good. So then I'll do Command S to save it. And we'll go ahead and close that out and then click back in Premiere and notice it updated the text. I uh, was really excited when I first learned this feature and I hope it stokes you guys out too a little bit. I use this uh, pretty frequently. It's just that quick Command E opens it up within Photoshop and then Command S to save your Photoshop file and then bounce back into uh, Premiere and then just click within your sequence space and notice it's updated. Um, but yeah. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. If you have any further questions about this, please leave them in the uh, comments below and check out my description. I have like all the gear that I use and everything on shoots and everything like that within there. Um, so check out those links and make some purchases if you would, because that helps out this channel. Anyways, uh, thanks again, guys, for tuning in and until next time.